Okay, we're gonna start by making a grid. So we're gonna get out a piece of paper, and it is 12 inches long. Okay, and you're gonna make a mark every two inches. Okay, so one, two, four, four, four six, four, eight, four, ten, and then the twelve's up there. Okay, then. We're going to go to the other side of our paper, right on where that line that it comes off, you can rip it off, okay, line that up, straight, okay, okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing, okay, so we're going to do the two, the four, the 6, the 8, the 10, and then 12 to there, okay? So then, what you're going to do is you're just going to like connect the dots, okay? So you're going to go from this dot to this dot, okay? And you're just going to draw a straight line. The marker's not very good, but that's okay. Yeah. And then you're going to do this one. You're gonna do this one. This one, the last one. Okay. Then you're gonna do the same thing on the bottom. So the bottom of our paper is about nine inches from that the part that you can tear off. So then on this one, we're going to do every three inches, okay? So we're going to do the three and the six, and that's it, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing up here. Line that up so that the nine is on the corner, and then our three and our six, okay? And we're going to line those up, hopefully connect the dots again. Okay. And there's six line, and this one's on the three. Okay. So now you have a nice grid. It has 18 squares, okay? So we're going to be doing these watercolor testers, and you have this sheet online on Canvas. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to label all my squares one of these. So number one is solid color, so I'll put that there. Wet on wet, it's right there. Dry brush, right there, okay? So I'm going to write those in, um, and then we'll come back. Okay, now that you have your paper all gridded out and all labeled, we're going to get started, okay? So for your first tester, you're going to just do a solid color. So just try painting with paint and water, and this one doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't even have to be a square. Just get like a swatch of color, put it down, okay? Okay, then for our second one, we're going to be doing wet on wet. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to get some clean water, um, put it down on the paper, kind of make like a little puddle on your paper. And then using that wet brush, you're going to get some pigment. Um, from your palette and you're gonna get some color and you're just gonna add that to the water okay so hence wet on wet okay now for the third one we're gonna be doing a dry brush so use a different brush because the last brush you used is wet so find one that's dry and you're just gonna add a really small amount of water um, and try and get some paint on there um, and then you're gonna um, create your mark that way. Okay, so just make some of those dry marks um, in that third square. Okay, now the fourth one we're going to do is called blending. Okay, so you're just going to paint um, kind of a light layer of color. Okay, 
just put that down. I'm doing yellow for mine. Um, and then um, what you're going to do is you're going to have, you're going to add some more paint around the edges. Um, this one should be a little more pigment than water, okay? So you could do the same color. You could do yellow again, but I'm doing green, okay? So you're going to put that around the edges, and then you're just going to kind of pull it inwards with water, okay? So try and, like, make sort of a gradient, um, blend those together, um, and that's going to be your blending, okay? Okay, for your fifth one, you're going to be doing blotting, okay? So we're just going to put down some color. Um, I'm doing some blue, okay? Um, and you're going to want to make sure this is pretty wet. Um, not like drenching wet, but kind of wet. Um, and then right after you put it down, you're going to take a paper towel and you're just going to blot that, okay? So kind of pick up some of the color. You can pick up a lot of it, you can pick up a little, um, but just try and pick up the color and make a cool texture that way. Okay, the next one we have to do in two parts. So this one's called glazing. So right now you're going to paint a layer of color um, and then you're just going to let that dry and we'll come back to it later, okay? So do a layer of color, we'll come back to it later. Okay, the next one is we are going to be adding salt, okay? So, big shocker, but like all the other ones, you're going to add a layer of color. Um, and then, once you have that layer of color put down, you're going to take some salt, um, and you're just going to put that right on top of it while it's still wet, okay? Um, this one does work a little bit better if it's a little more wet. Um, so make sure it's still wet when you're putting that salt on, and then you're just going to leave that there and let it dry. Okay, this next one is probably my favorite. Um, we're going to be using something called masking fluid. Okay, it looks like this. Um, and you're just going to pour a little bit onto a piece of parchment paper. And then you're just going to draw, well, not draw, you're going to paint a little design with it. Okay, so it's kind of like this sort of clear, sort of yellowy um, color. But you're just going to do whatever design you want with that. Um, I'm doing some like little stars, okay, and then kind of like the glazing one, after you put this one down, you have to wait a little bit and let it dry, okay? So we're going to do that, and um, I'll put that down, and then we'll let it dry. Okay, but the thing with this one is this um, masking fluid does kind of ruin brushes, so as soon as you're done with it, make sure you go wash it out in the sink, get all that out of the um, brush, or it will ruin your brush, okay? So next, our next one that we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a gradient, okay? So the easiest way to do this is just to kind of put like a, a stripe of color and then wash your brush and then pull it away with just plain water, okay? I think this one is the hardest, so you might have to mess with it a little bit, um, but just keep adding more water on the end and more color on the other end and until you get something that's like gradient e looking okay okay your next one is variegated okay so you're gonna pick three colors i'm starting with this red um and you're gonna make sure it's pretty watery not super bright um just a light a light color okay and then you're gonna get two other colors and put them on either side so i'm doing a yellow on one side um, and then an orange on the other, okay? So you're just adding colors to that first color. And it's cute. It's pretty. I like that one, okay? Okay, the next one that we are going to be doing is wet on wet slash dry brush combo, okay? So you're going to be using the techniques that we did earlier, but we're kind of combining them, okay? So this one, um, you start with the wet on wet. Remember, make a puddle, add pigment. Um, to it and then you're gonna get a different brush and get that dry and we're just gonna put some designs kind of around it okay you can even touch it if you want to experiment with that but I just put mine around it so you have the contrast of those two different marks next to each other 
Okay. Um, the next one we're going to do is dry brush on wet. Okay, so you're gonna paint a section using the wet on wet technique again. So make that little puddle, add your pigment, um, just like we've been doing. Um, and then while it's wet, you're gonna get a different brush and do the dry brush technique. So just a little bit of water um, with that dry brush and add it on top. Okay, the next one is pretty fun. Um, it's splattering. So you're just gonna put a ton of pigment. Um, sorry about that. You're gonna put a ton of pigment in your brush. And using your finger, you're just gonna kind of flick it. Um, try to keep it in that square, but it's pretty tricky. So it's okay if it goes around um, somewhere else. Um, so that one's fun. Okay. Then our next one is we're gonna try calligraphy, okay? So this one is more paint than water. So do a small amount of water um, and a lot of pigment and you're just gonna try and write your name um, in cursive and you can make it fancy if you want um, or just do it normal. So there's mine. Okay, the next part, I did mix up the order. So it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you do the right, um, the right technique with the right label, okay? So I think this one that I'm doing right now is the plastic wrap one, okay? So I just put down a little swatch of color and then you get plastic wrap. It doesn't need to be very big, but just put it on top and kind of push it down with your fingers, okay? And then um, you're just gonna leave that there. So let that dry um, and we'll come back to it in a little bit. Okay, the next one I did was incorporating pen. Okay, so this one is, we're just gonna put our color down um, and then we're gonna let that dry. Okay, and we'll come back to it in a little bit. And the last one that I'm gonna be showing you is the um, spray with alcohol. So this one, just put down our color and then even though the alcohol is in spray bottles, it kind of makes a mess. So um, just take the lid off and do some drops in it. It does the same effect. Um, it just doesn't ruin the rest of your things, okay? Okay, now we're gonna go back to some of the ones that we needed to dry before. So let's go back to our glazing one. So that one's just take another color, put it on top, um, see how that looks. Um, so I just put this little orange on my yellow. And then um, I'm getting the salt off. I would recommend doing this over garbage cans and get rid of the salt. Um, and then um, I'm going to go back in and do my masking fluid because it's dry now. Um, so I'm just getting some paint and you're just gonna go over the whole thing just like that. And then, once you have that all done, you are going to have to wait for it to dry again. So I actually blasted mine with a blow dryer to make it go a little faster. Um, and you can do that too. Because that will have to dry and then we'll do the next part of that one. Um, and then now, I'm fixing my gradient a little because it bothered me. So I was just trying to make it look more gradient-y. Trying to nail down that technique. So in my opinion, that was the hardest one. But I kind of got it at the end. Okay, and then I'm going back to the um, incorporating pen one. And I'm just drawing some little designs on that swatch of paint. So I just did some little swirlies, some little dots. You can do whatever you want. Um, incorporate that. Okay, and then at this point, that one was dry, so I peeled off my saran wrap and I threw that away. Um, this last square is for freestyle, okay? So you're just gonna paint anything you want um, that's in the class and you're gonna um, use the techniques, some of them that we've talked about, so you can paint anything you want right in that little square, okay? Just make sure it's like a real thing, like not just scribbles, okay? And then your final step is you're just gonna rub off that, um, you're gonna rub off that masking fluid 
which I think is so fun, fun part. So just rub that off and it will kind of reveal the designs that you did before. And then you're good. That's all we've got for this assignment. So hopefully this video helps you. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. Okay? Sweet.